Like, I don't even really recognize myself, and it's a little bit weird seeing myself this way. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I know what you're probably thinking, and whatever you're thinking, I probably agree. But anyways, hey, today I'm going to be recreating Doja Cat's e-girl makeup routine. She did this video for Vogue, and I liked it. Her routine was different than mine, and I figured this would be a good way to get out of my comfort zone and do a look that I'm not used to doing. Also, she's fun. I vibe with her music. I vibe with her vibe. <laughs> Vibes, bro. Vibe check. Past. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous in this hair. There was more expensive options of wigs at the store today and I was like, you know what, let me just get this one. She's cheap and like, I feel like she looks good. And then I put her on and I was like, I mean, I guess with the proper amount of Facetune, we can make her look good for like a photo. I don't know. Anyways, I'm excited. This should be fun. And I'm excited to hang out with you guys today and chat about a bunch of other random things too. <sighs> Let's get into this video. Okay. Oh my God. This wig. I actually want to get into wigs, guys, but you know, ones that are professionally placed on my head, but I feel like it would be a fun thing to do. Like if I'm wearing a yellow outfit. I feel like YouTubers do that like they do the most for some outfits and it looks cute maybe i'll do it for coachella or something i don't think i could do it on the daily though because my head hurts and i'm in pain so she uses a powder exfoliator which i actually really like these two they are a powder you put them in your hand and then with water they turn into an exfoliant she says she does this twice a day which to me is crazy i only do this a couple times a week I think exfoliating that much is bad for you, but I'm not here to tell her how to live her life. When you slap your face, your She hits her face to bring the blood to the surface. So today, this is what we're doing. I've never done this. I've never followed a celebrity's full skincare makeup thing from beginning to end, but maybe they know some shit that we don't. Maybe us regular people need to hit ourselves more oh god i feel stupid right now i'm not gonna lie i feel uh dumb i really like this drunk elephant day serum i believe this has spf in it as well i don't always do a full skincare regimen underneath makeup i get scared that it's gonna make the makeup stick less i go really intense with my skincare at night when i don't have to worry about makeup but maybe this is the wave. I'm gonna use my Dermalogica eye serum. She puts eye serum on her lips. So we will give that a go, question mark. It's so funny because skincare routines and makeup routines are so personal and they're so specific to a person that me doing this and the little things being different almost feels like I'm cheating on myself. You know what I mean? So according to Doja Cat, a face oil underneath your foundation will make your foundation stay all day long. Let's give this a go. She could be onto something. Okay, now for the part that I'm really excited for. Let's go get this Doja Cat e-girl glam. I am serving strawberry shortcake. I am serving lava girl. I am serving lazy town. Oh! <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the makeup. I'm excited to do this because I feel like I'm gonna discover things that I'm not used to. One of those being color corrector. I don't know why I never got on the wave, but I went to Sephora today. This is the first thing she does in her makeup routine is apply a color corrector under her eyes. And I feel like I'm definitely a candidate for one because no matter how much sleep I get, my eyes are dark underneath. Okay, foundation time. She does hers directly on the beauty blender, which, okay. <laughs> wow, okay, so I will say the oil underneath the foundation is making it really glow and I love it. Like, look at the forehead. It just looks so natural and pretty. Okay. So Doja Cat uses a Fenty concealer. I honestly have had this one. And I just, I think I like the Tarte Shape Tape better, but maybe this is T over the color corrector. 
This isn't necessarily baking, it kind of is. So she takes an eyeshadow brush and kind of bakes some translucent powder underneath her eyes. She says that this helps her with the fine lines under her eyes. So maybe this is like a hack. I'm really gonna pack it on there because she does. Typically on this step, I'll just stop right after the beauty blender. Now we're gonna swipe this off and keep a thin layer and using a foundation brush, we are gonna go in like this. Honestly, yeah, this, this could look good. I don't know, what do I know? I don't know, oh, okay. I just baked and you can see I created a cheekbone. I always contour with, with bronzer. Yeah, this is like every day for me. Okay, now we're gonna do bronzer. She says that this is like an everyday thing for her and she kind of like creates her own cheekbones every day and I felt that because same girl, same. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our powder blush. This one is from Tarte and we are going to put a lot of it on because she puts a lot of blush on. She likes to focus the blush really high and up. It's like a cartoony look and it looks kind of animated. So let's try it out. I would typically go a little bit lower on my blush, but when in Rome. So we're actually gonna bring the blush all over here and we're gonna pack it onto the nose and it's gonna give us that sick girl look. The way she describes it is like an e-girl that just looks severely cold and has like these rosy cheeks. I don't know, she's into it and I never do this, like I said, but it looks so good on her that I'm like, okay, let's, let's give this a go. She goes really, really pink on the nose and this area, which I am not comfortable with, but let's get it. I get under it, on the sides, bam. And what happens, it fades during the day. It doesn't look as pink. We're gonna bring that blush onto the eyelids as well. So now with a liquid blush, so this one is from e.l.f. We're gonna take a really tiny amount and we are gonna add that to the tip of our nose. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, cute. And I'm gonna add some on top of the blush that we already did. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in my brows with this brow pomade. I did something different with my eyebrows. Um, okay, so I'm sure you guys are all familiar with the trend of eyes and eyebrows going like that. Like it's a very modely look these days. People are going a little bit crazy. Like people are getting that uh, string literally injected in their head to pull their eyebrows kind of like this. And last night I was like, you know what? I bet if I trimmed the edges off my eyebrows and took off like this much, I could get that look a little bit without, you know, doing anything crazy like a string in my skull or, you know, people are getting like eye lifts and stuff like that. But I bet I could try, you know, getting a similar look since it's a trend right now, I could try it in a way that's not permanent. So I'm gonna try to fill them in straighter right now too to see if that did anything. But I feel like this could be a cool way to play around with the trend right now and not commit to anything permanent. Guys, I honestly think I might have did something like just by taking off the ends of the eyebrows. I feel like I totally got the look that I was going for. Oh my God. All right, so this I'm excited to try. Never done this one. Apparently, if you put a ton of powder on top of your eyebrows, this is what she does. This will mattify them so that when the light hits them, they don't get shiny and your brows don't get deleted and they look natural. I don't know. Um, let's see. She says this is her favorite part of her makeup routine. So I hope my life gets changed. Okay, I kind of get it. I do, I kind of get it. Eyeshadow, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. We're just gonna do some dark around the creases and that's it. She doesn't really go too advanced with the eyeshadow. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a liquid highlight. It just gives the highlight such a fleshy tone. Sometimes I feel like powder highlight is so obviously a powder that it looks not like flesh or skin, so hopefully this looks good. Yeah, I feel like this looks good. Okay, we're gonna put some blush on the top. 
and then a little bit on the bottom. This is the scary part. This is where everybody starts sweating. And now we're gonna do her wing. She likes to go really out and long and kind of doll-like. So wish me luck. This part is stressful. I will see you in a second. Okay. So now I'm gonna put on some eyelashes. She uses some really dramatic doll-like eyelashes. Everything is looking good. I'm into this so far. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm into this. I feel like a strawberry shortcake still, but like an elevated strawberry shortcake. Now we're gonna do something that I'm kind of scared and apprehensive to do. We are gonna do some faux freckles. She uses this brand called Freck, and I looked it up and it sold at Urban Outfitters, so I went over there and they didn't have it. So I went to Sephora and they recommended me, where is it? Oh God, I just had it. And they recommended me this tattooed liquid liner by Kat Von D. So I'm gonna do it the way she did it, but I really do wanna buy that Freck product that she uses. It was just out of stock, probably because of this Vogue video she did. <laughs> so she does them in different sizes and basically all around her face and she'll press them in with her fingers. So let's give it a go. I hope this works, if not, Big yikes. Okay, this is too cute. I love this shit. I think I'm honestly gonna incorporate this into more looks. I'm gonna have to get it down. But I look at the mirror and I see like such a cute little thing. I'm like, oh, I just wanna pinch my own cheeks. Okay, I'm glad that I'm finally feeling myself because at the beginning of this, I felt literally insane. And now I'm like, oh, okay, I'm like, you know, not feeling so awkward. So she uses a pressed gel that's similar to this. Hers is also like bluish pink. So I have a similar color. This is from ColourPop and she will press it into her eyelids. So that is what I'm gonna do. I have a feeling this is gonna look so good. Like there's just no way this is not gonna look cute. This one actually has little stuff in it, like little moons and little suns and little stars because it's a collab with a sailor moon. It's not the cutest thing ever. Um, this is so cute, oh my God. So she does like an ombre look and she'll put a lot of the color in the center of the lip so that it kind of looks like you're not really wearing any lipstick. Okay, wow, oh my God, guys. At the beginning of this video, I felt insane. And now I want to recreate makeup looks all the time. This was so much fun. So some of the things that I really liked and I recommend you incorporate into your makeup routine is doing an oil underneath your foundation that really made my skin glow. I also recommend using an eyebrow product like this with a brush. Typically I will do an eyebrow pencil, but this was fabulous. Like there's so many parts of this that I'm gonna incorporate into my regular routine. This e-girl moment is super fun. And wow, who knew Doja Cat would come through with such makeup tea for me? This is lit. Okay guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know in the comments what you think of seeing me look like this and whose makeup look I should try next because doing this was so much fun and I wanna do this like all the time. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I will be hanging out with you in the comments like I always do. I love you guys, bye. Okay, so I even changed up the top that I'm wearing so I could really visualize what this makeup looks like and yo, I'm kind of obsessed. Like I don't even really recognize myself and it's a little bit weird seeing myself this way, but I'm into it. This is so fun. Are you kidding me? What? Okay, so now I'm gonna try to get an Instagram picture in this uh, hair and makeup, and it's a little bit weird because I don't really recognize myself, so I don't, I don't know what vibe I'm really gonna capture because this is not my vibe. But that's kind of fun, so I'm gonna take some pics right here, maybe in the mirror, maybe stand my phone somewhere. I have this remote controlled selfie clicker and i love it so much just search on amazon like selfie clicker and it really helps me get my selfies by myself so let's see if i get it like this or <laughs> i don't know but this is cool i hope i get a good instagram picture out of this because my head is hurting me so bad that i just want to rip this wig off and take a shower and get all this makeup off not gonna lie so let's see if i can muster out a good pic mm -hmm. 